Hey YouTube, it's Andy Bob again. The Andy Bob Threads and Thrift. Uh, you can find me on Andy Bob, Andy Bob's Threads and Thrift dot com, or you can find me on eBay with the same name. We're on YouTube. Uh, we are on Facebook, and we're on Twitter. On Twitter, it's Andy Bob's T Two. So check us out on there. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we really appreciate it. it helps us out a lot. Uh, I want to show you today how to cancel a transaction. Um, it's not very difficult to do, but um, I've had people ask me about it, uh, friends of mine. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. We had uh, someone purchase an item from me. They, uh, for whatever reason, decided that they didn't want it. Uh, first things first, um, eBay requires you to issue them a refund before you cancel the transaction. Um, this is, uh, I'm kind of initiating this here. We've communicated back and forth and it's, uh, I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal. Sometimes it happens. It's just part of doing business. I'd rather cancel the transaction before it gets shipped out than have to deal with a, uh, return and a refund. So I'll gladly do this. So anyways, I'm logged in here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hover over the, where it says account here. Uh, well, that's not coming up. There we go. Uh, and you're going to go down to Resolution Center. Click on Resolution Center. It's going to ask you here to resolve a problem. Uh, we've already communicated. Start the resolution process. Process. Please tell us what your problem is. I did not buy an item. I sold the item. So I received it. We want to cancel the transaction. This is, if you're going to issue a refund, if someone wants to cancel the transaction, if you're issued the refund, this uh, going through this process here through the eBay to formally cancel the transaction is the only way that you're going to get your fees back. Otherwise, uh, you're out whatever the amount of the fees were on that. So, I already issued it through PayPal. PayPal is giving me back my fees. Click. I want to cancel the transaction. Continue. Brings it up. Uh, tells you to make sure that we both agreed. We have. If they paid, send a refund. That's what I was just talking about. Uh, so it says that we advise buyers to only accept cancellation requests if they have already received a refund, which makes sense. I can understand that. It needs the item number. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go a bit because it just happened. And here we are right here. Just mark it there. Click continue. That's what it is. Again, make sure they agreed to it. Open a case, fill in the item number, got it. Click continue. And I don't know why some of these names come up on here. I don't even know who some of them are. But anyways, this is the one. Uh, opening a case doesn't affect anything unless it turns negative. So don't worry about that. Uh, there's the buyer, the case type. We're going to cancel it. Send a request to cancel this transaction. Select a reason. Uh, buyer changes his mind. It's optional. You can put in more information there if you'd like. I'm not going to on this one. Send a request. And the case is now open. Um, they get to respond to this. Uh, I've already talked to them. They're, they know that this is coming, so they should respond to this fairly quickly um, to request the request to cancel this transaction has been sent. Uh, they got seven days to respond. If the buyer agrees to cancel the transaction, the case will be automatically closed and you'll receive the final value fee credit. So there's your credits. That's the only way you're going to get them back is if you do this. If the buyer declines, this case will be automatically closed and you will not receive a final value. And then if they don't respond, they've got seven days. And if they don't respond after seven days, you're going to get your final value fee back. So you can check it here in the resolution center. I'm we'll going to click it. There's a case that's open. There it is right there. How much, who it is, we're awaiting their action. And that's all that there is to it. You just sit back and wait. So just be sure that you do this if someone wants to cancel. <clears throat> excuse me. If someone wants to cancel or if you, for whatever reason, if you're selling something and you need to cancel a transaction, you just simply uh, issue the refund through PayPal. Uh, and I got that in another video if you need to see how to issue a refund uh, through PayPal. Do that first and then come over here to the Resolution Center and follow these simple steps. So that's all there is to it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
If you have any questions about anything, uh, post a comment, send me an email. I'll be happy to answer them, make more videos. So I really appreciate it. And I just hope everybody's doing all right out there. And just uh, good luck with everything. And God bless you all. Thanks.